am so excited to be here. I can't help it. This is such an extraordinary moment, and I have been looking forward to this for a year to come together with friends and celebrate this moment. But let's face it, we all watch the news, we watch what's happening in the White House, we see what's happening in Congress. It's bad. It's so bad. In fact, it's so bad that Paul Ryan is retiring at 48 years old. But we're not going to dwell on that much here tonight, because something great is happening right now, and something new is being created. See, every single day, starting the day after the election, women from across the country have stood up to march, to call, to vote, to make their voices heard through Me Too and Time's Up. And to run, to take their places as the leaders of this country. In fact, since Election Day 2016, more than 36,000 women have come to Emily's List saying they want to run for office. Now, these women won't all run right away, but they will run, and they will win for decades to come. The energy we saw the day of the Women's March isn't going anywhere, and it isn't dying down. And now, because of the momentum we've built, and because of the work Emily's List has done over decades, a transformation is about to begin. And we're going to start from the ground up. See, just a few months back, there were still races for legislative seats all across the country where there wasn't even a single Democrat running yet. So at Emily's List, we decided to take that on. And now today, states like North Carolina and Ohio have Democrats running in 100% of the seats up. States like Maine and Nevada and my home state of Montana have Democrats running in over 80% of the seats up this year. And in places like Georgia and the Nevada House, women make up the majority of Democrats stepping up to run for those legislative seats. And Emily's List is working in more than 1,200 state and local races across the country. And it's not just state legislatures that we're taking back. Democrats have to flip 23 seats to win back the House in 2018. And Emily's List is working with women running in 7D. These are including women like Alyssa Slotkin and Lauren Underwood, who are on the verge of flipping districts in states like Michigan and Illinois. And we have primaries where multiple qualified women are running. And by the way, Whenever someone tells me they think that's a problem, I tell them that's a good problem to have. We worked hard to get here, and we embrace it. So now I will be the first to acknowledge this is a lot to keep track of. We are talking about huge numbers of candidates between the women who are running to take back the House and the women running to take back the Senate and for the legislative seats and the governor seats across the country. But here's the thing. When we talk tactics and targeted recruitment, when we talk about redistricting and numbers of women who are running, what it all means is this. 
For the woman in Texas, it means access to an abortion. For the woman in Michigan, it means access to clean drinking water for her kids. For women all across this country, it means access to good paying union jobs. And it means access for all of us to the freedom and opportunity to choose the lives we want to live. That that is the meaning of the work we do. And this is the biggest opportunity we've ever had to do it by electing historic numbers of women to office. You know, the only other time we've ever come close to a moment like this before was 1992. Now here's what I remember about the first year of the woman. I remember watching Anita Hill in those all-male committee hearings. I remember the anger I felt hearing what happened to her and seeing nothing happen to him. So 1992, was the first year I was old enough to vote. And you'd better believe I took that anger with me when I did. Now, there was no Twitter in Mankato, Minnesota in 1992. And there definitely was no 24-hour news in my college dorm room. So I didn't know until the day after how many new Democratic women were on their way to Congress, including Senator Patty Murray? So, now, depending on who you are, that story either just made me sound really young or really old. But here's the thing. Today, we can already see that change is coming. Some call it a wave. But if all of us here in this room and all the women and men who support our cause do what we need to do, and you know we've got to do more than we've ever done before, then it won't be a wave. It will be a sea change. This, this is the moment we've waited for. It is ours to take. In this town, it can be so hard to believe. But I'm telling you, it's time to start. I believe, Alyssa and Lauren believe, women across this country believe we can do this in 2018. We do the work Democratic women will take back the House. These are the very same women who marched, who called, who went back home to organize, and who are looking to us now as they prepare to run. Who wouldn't want to be part of this? Who wouldn't want to be part of the right side of history with us. This is so much bigger than 2018. This is the ultimate tipping point. A new era opens up if we get this right. So it is time to believe. It is time to get to work. And it is time to get this done. Join us and we will succeed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.